a package today. My Doll Chateau Queena finally came and I'm so excited and I'm gonna unbox her. I purchased her in, oh my gosh, I purchased her in like October of 2019 and she just got here and it's June 4th. And I purchased her full set and I'm super excited. I'm very excited. Let's go somehow tear into this fully taped package. Hi, it's voiceover Miley. And it's actually been a really long time since I filmed this video. I think it's been like a month and a half and I had the whole video completely edited and I literally forgot about it completely. So I'm kind of excited to see it again. But anyways, so like I said before, this is Doll Chateau's Queena. And I have been in love with this doll for so long. I saw her, I think she was the first BJD I ever really like saw and registered what she was. And I saw her on Pinterest and I like spazzed out, but I couldn't like justify spending that much money on a doll. And then I like obsessed for a very long time. And then I purchased her. And she's not actually, I now own three other, I own three total BJDs, um, but none of them were full set BJDs. And this is actually my first like full set doll experience. And I was insanely surprised in like the most bestest way ever when I got her. Like the packaging was so beautiful and even her, I guess her stock, I don't know if you call it like stock when it comes to BJDs, but Blythe dolls, you call their clothing, their stock clothes. I'm so used to like the quality of Blythe clothing and it's not my favorite, but this stuff is so unbelievably beautiful and well-made. And I was just like, I don't know, I was really excited. And I have another one fourth scale doll. I have Doll Chateau Barbara, but she came nude and blank. And I have another one from Doll Zone and she again was nude. And I really wanted a full set doll. I didn't actually know that you could buy them like differently. I can't word. I'm probably gonna have to re-record this, but maybe not, we'll see. But anyways, so I got her basic default face up. I got her default everything. I didn't get the body blushing because my friend Judith, she told me that the body blushing has a tendency to like rub off. So I didn't spend the extra for that. And I think all in all, I got her during like a doll chateau promotion and some other stuff. I want to say I spent around 300 or $460 for her, which is a lot of money for a doll, but I, I splurged and it's fine. It's, my adult present to myself. That's what being an adult is. But anyways, I love everything about her. I think her costume is amazing. I really like the swan just reminded me of Bjork and her amazing swan dress. And it's funny because I make costumes too, just like as a hobby for myself. And the swan dress was like the first costume that I ever made for myself or like ever in general. And I was so proud of how it turned out, especially at the time. But anyways, so, oh, it's all things. Her wig, her wig is really cool. It's like, I wish I could pull off short hair, but I'm too attached to my long hair. But her wig, it's like feathers. Her hair is like a feather wig and it looks so cool. And I love her little swan thing and her hands. And she's just cool. Oh, she doesn't actually stand up on her own. Just as a side note, I stood her up with chopsticks. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and me rambling. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.